Hello, Texas history students. This is Ms. Moore, and I'm going to show you how to get started on our five themes of geography assignment that we're beginning. So we're, again, we're going to log in with our MySpring ISD portal, and then we're going to go over here, and you're going to open your Gmail so that everything runs a little bit more smoothly. So I have mine open over here. And the next thing you're going to do is open your Schoology. And it will automatically log you in if you have logged in already like you should have last week. So we're going to go down here to one of your uh, your class social studies it's going to be your class period which is the very last number your instructor instructor miss moore and then you're going to click on it okay and it's still loading as you can see up here with the little circle and then over here on upcoming you're going to see your assignment, just like I do, and you're going to click on it. And over here on this side, or up here at the top, you are going to see Submit Assignment. And over here, you're going to have these two links. And it's going to have some instructions for you in just a few moments or when you actually see the assignment, it'll have the instructions added to it. And it'll tell you, first, you're going to watch this video, Five Themes of Geography, and they're going to click on it to watch the video. Hello, students. This is Mr. Simmons. And throughout the videos uh, and the assignments, you might hear some different teachers giving you assignments through the videos, and that's okay. It'll just give you some different voices so you don't have to listen to me talk all the time. And you can watch this video as many times as you want. Uh, it's eight minutes long and you can pause it and rewind it and go back to the different sections to help give you the information you need to continue your assignment. So right now, after you're going to pretend we've watched that whole video and now we're going to go back and do the next part of the assignment. So your instructions are going to tell you to watch the video and then it's going to tell you to go back and click on this, which is the next part of the assignment to make a virtual interactive notebook. And it's going to say, would you like to make a copy of the vertical interactive notebook, which means it's up and down, not side to side. And you're going to click on a copy because you do want to make one of your very own. And then it's going to open up this nice little virtual um, interactive notebook that it's been created in Google Slides. It's taking a little bit of time. And you can see it looks like the composition notebooks that we use in class, but instead of being able to be held in your hands, it's on the computer and that helps us because it's going to be stored right on your hard drive and you can send the assignments to me and it won't get lost. And you can see here it says seventh grade social studies and it has a space for your name. And if you click right in there, you can take that out and type your own name. You can also come up here and change the font and the, the way the writing style looks. And these are some pictures that have to do with social studies and Texas history. We've got the Texas flag, the shape of our state, our state flower, the blue bonnet, the Alamo, which has to do with the Texas Revolution, and Sam Houston, known as the father of Texas. And if you want to change those, you can, but we, we're going to wait on that until after we've completed our assignment. So after you've completed your assignment and turned it in, you can go ahead and change that. And we're going to go down here to our table of contents. And I'm going to present this to make it bigger so you can see it. 
And just like on our regular notebook, we're going to have that we would have in the classroom. It's got a t space for the date, the name of the assignment, and instead of the page, it's going to have the number that the slide is where the assignment begins. And then it's going to space have a space for the grade, and it says to be filled in by the teacher. But you could also fill that in after your grade is given to you by the teacher, but it hasn't been graded yet because we haven't started it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and, oh, there's one more thing I forgot. If you go up here and click on it, it will take you directly to the slide or the page of that assignment. Uh, but we're going to focus on doing that a little later. <clears throat> click that out of the way. So, and then the very next slide is going to be our assignment, the five themes of geography. So if you notice right now, you can't type anything because all of this is on the page where you cannot move it. Okay, but you can click on that and that again will take you, if you don't want to go back to Schoology while you're typing into the, um, the information into your notebook, you can click on that and it'll take you to, right to the video. So you can review that information. Well, how do we type into our notebook? Well, you can come over here and click insert text box and you drag and make a box and then you can start typing and you type information right there. And then if you want to start typing over here, you can I go and do the exact same thing for the next theme of geography and you can start typing your notes for that one. And then for the third one, you're going to do the same thing again. Another text box for that theme of geography. And again for this one. And again for the last one. And you've got some notes typed in there, like that. So we're pretending to type some things in here so I can show you what to do. Okay, so you've typed your stuff. And right now, our title just says copy of vertical interactive notebook. But we're going to go in there and change that. We're going to put this is my notebook right now that I made, so I'm going to put Miss Moore, Miss Moore's virtual interactive notebook. Okay, so now it has a name, and I've taken notes. We're going to pretend that those are all filled up, and we're going to go back to Schoology and you've completed your assignment, and then you're going to have a box over here or a space up here where you're going to submit your assignment, and then you're going to click Submit when you're done, and it's going to ask you back over here. If you need some assistance, remember we need to go to that folder where it says How-To Guides for Students. If you don't remember, and if you want to click on that because you don't remember how to, it will show you the steps to um, submit your work. And this is going to be saved in our Google Drive because we created it from a copy that was already in our Google Drive. So it'll be really easy to just um, load it from there. So again, we're going to click on the assignment. We've made it. And then you're going to commit, uh, click submit assignment. And then you would have three choices. So it would be select a file from my resources. 
and that they are in an app, which is the Google Drive. So if you're selecting from your Google Drive, you're going to import the file. And you would go over here to Google Drive and you would import the link and you would need to make sure that you remember what you named it. If you didn't name it after your name, you would have to remember what you named it. It would be mine is Miss Moore's virtual interactive notebook. And then you would just click import link. And then it would import the link in there and it would submit the assignment for you. And then you're all done and you're finished with that assignment and you have created your interactive notebook so that we can add more assignments into your interactive notebook later on. And I hope we are all having fun and enjoying creating assignments on the internet. And I will see you later.